Hello folks and welcome to Wisconsin Northland Outdoor Tips with myself John Myrie and our co-host Desmond Bennett and we're going to try to give you some great tips in these series to help you enjoy the outdoors a little bit more and your fishing and boating. You know if you're out there slip bobber fishing for walleyes or panfish or anything else, how many times have you seen somebody out there with the bobber floating across the lake and they've lost their bobber? Here's a good little tip I'm going to give you to help you be able to rig the rods quicker and not have that problem of losing the bobber. When I rig my rods up, I'm rigging them usually with fairly, I like high visibility line, like solar yellow line, because people can see it too. But I'm using 8 or 10 pound test line, or sometimes 12, on my slip bobber from a main line here. And then my slip bobber goes on, I usually use a split, a split shot or some type of weight, and a small little number 10 swivel, and then I use a foot to two foot of fluorocarbon, usually in six pound test line. What that allows me to do is, that, say you're out there on one of the flow edges where you got a lot of wood and stuff and you snag up, what will usually, what you want to break is that fluorocarbon before your main line. So if you break that off, your bobber slot slides down to your split shot and to your swivel, and you don't wind up losing it. So it just makes things a lot easier, quicker, plus you get the benefit of having low visibility fluorocarbon line. 